Hey, everybody, Ann here, and, well, good morning to you. First thing in the morning, bright and early, and I figured I'd show you what things look like when I do an extended stay somewhere, two or three days, and my camping mode, my gallivanting mode. So, this is what it looks like. I put my canopy up right over the top. Oh, coffee's ready. Hang on a second. I'll show you the rest in a minute. Okay, this is going to be hot. So, coffee time. And see, I put a little pinch of cinnamon in my coffee every morning. It's a good anti-inflammatory. And I notice, you know, sometimes you hear these things and you think, oh, that's not the truth. Well, whenever I go several days without making my own coffee with the cinnamon in it, my joints start aching. And you know, um, joint pain, arthritis, if you've got it, like I do, um, it's caused by inflammation. So, oh, pour that in there, and let it all soak down, right on, and it's delicious. It tastes really super good, so I'll just let that soak down, drip down into the bottom. Um, and it helps my joints not hurt so much. But anyhow, so what I do is I put the the top of the canopy over the top of the barn doors. And I just leave them open all the time. When I go to sleep at night, I just close these curtains. I just close them completely, both sides, and um, that's just fine. I haven't had any critters coming in to get me yet. Now, of course, when it gets colder outside, I won't be able to do that, but I still have my trusty filter, water filter, it's still working. I kind of showed you this a little bit ago. Oh, look, I made some nachos last night. I have two, come on, get in focus. There we go. I have two single burner stoves and I love them both. There are a few differences between, this is a Coleman, that I got from Walmart and that is an Adventure Ridge and maybe I'll do a video comparing them. I actually like the Adventure Ridge better but they work great and if you look behind there see you know what that is that's from my two burner stove which turned out to be a huge hunk of junk. I just can't tell you how much I disliked it. The knobs were falling off it just so I kind of just got rid of it and I kept the little wind guard thing in the back and I just put that up whenever I need to and it works really great and um, then underneath I just use the case for the Coleman case to put stuff on top of and inside I put all my spices that I'm going to be using during the trip right there inside it and that is my worm bin I've got my trusty axe and I found this axe out in the woods I was so thrilled to be able to get this. Um, it's not very sharp. I, it needs to be kind of restored a little bit, I guess. I don't know how old it is, to be honest with you, but I mean, I don't think it's an antique or anything. Um, but it's very sturdy. And it does chop wood. It'd be better if it was a little bit sharper. I like this part because it kind of works as a hammer. And sometimes I'll just bang things like this on the side if it's something that... I'm likely to miss because I don't aim very well. But that's my axe, and I've got it. Inside's my worm bin. You just saw a video on that, and they're very happy. And, oh, you guys, check this out. This little bar garden sprayer, bug sprayer, whatever, is so awesome. I use it to bathe with, shower with, wash my hands with wash my feet while I'm outside after I've been gallivanting in the mud <laughs> with no shoes on. It is just super awesome. I'll do a video on that showing all the different things I do with it. And that's my tackle box. Um, oh, this little camp setup thingy that all nestles in to one another. I mean, it's pretty cool, but um, I wouldn't spend a lot of money if you, if you uh, want one of these. I think I found this one at a Goodwill. Um, one thing, when you eat with this when you put hot food in it, it gets very, very hot. So you can't hold it. You can't put it on your lap or anything. You have to get a heating pad underneath of it or just put it on a table and eat out of it. 
But um, I do like the little pot that comes with it. Um, see, it's pretty cool. It's just big enough, and it really, it is just the perfect size for me to cook a little pasta, you know, cook a little something or other. Um, and it comes with a cute little lid, and I love it. And uh, then this is okay. This is, if it gets too hot, the bottom of it will, let me show you. It'll kind of warp a little bit, so, you know, not very good construction. But, you know, it's something that you can use. You can use it over a fire or a stove or whatever. Uh, but I do really like that a lot. Um, also, I wanted to show you guys something. Sometimes these burners, these cooktops, whatever, um, if you have a small pan or a pot, Sometimes it'll kind of not fit on top of that really well, and it won't be level. So, what I will do, there's my trusty cast iron. What I will do is, I found this little grate thingy, this little whatever you want to call it, at Goodwill. And I thought, you know what, I wonder if that would work. It does work. Um, and to keep it steady, I just keep it all the way back, um, kind of nestled. There's little ridges in here. Um nestled into you know the one of the little slots that way you can put anything on top of this and it won't fall through the middle you know what I mean um, and it's it's that way in particular with this one um, because this one's little great thingies come a little bit closer together so I use it on this one when I'm cooking with you know something that's a little a little odd shaped or smaller or whatever so anyhow, that's that. I've got a little bit of wood. Those are my fishing poles. Haven't even put them together this trip. Uh, so that's what it looks like from right here. I think that's pretty awesome. And I put the socks on this thing because sometimes I get this too close to the side of the van. And this is actually broken off. Betty kind of went around it and broke it and bent it. Both of them are like that, so... I don't know. That's okay. It works out okay anyhow because I have this up over my doors. Um, but that prevents it from scratching the side, which it's already done a little bit. You can probably see a little bit. But anyhow, okay. Let's go around this way. Don't want to show you my license plate. I've got my solar panels out. I need to actually turn them around because the sun's going to be coming up. Well, if it does come up, it'll be coming up over there. And then it'll go this way. So, um, yeah, here's the van from this side. Uh, I didn't get the tarp exactly right this time, but that's okay. Uh, and this blocks out the, the hot sun when it shines on that part. And also gives me a little bit of privacy. And I know you guys have seen this before, but this is how I do my campfire. Um... I like to cook over an open fire. I did last night. I made some, if you can believe this, clam chili. Um, and it was pretty good. So yeah, I just uh, put the wood up underneath of that. Actually, I take the grate off when I'm starting the fire. And then I let it cook down to where it's just basically charcoal. And I can put my pots on top of this. Now these logs will eventually burn. But um, for right now, they're pretty big logs, pretty sturdy. They're not very dry. So they hold the little grate up. Um, once they start burning really bad, I'll have to get some more logs or some rocks or something like that. But, um, anyhow, that's my camp setup, and I love it. I really, really just love it. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> I love this stuff, this Kellogg's Low-Fat Granola. Um, I get it for two in a pack from the dollar store, and I just love it. Anyway, this is what it looks like from my back door. Beautiful lots of trees. The leaves are starting to thin out though, but that's okay. It's starting to look kind of like fall. Pretty, very pretty. On the other side of those trees is a little river, and I cannot see another human for <laughs> blocks. For blocks. They're out there. I know they're there, but you know what? When I camp way, 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 way out here, um, they don't bother me. Yep, they pretty much leave me alone. Leave me and the girl alone, right? It's been a really, really nice day this time. 
Unfortunately, I have to get back to work on Tuesday. I don't have to work Monday. I have to work Tuesday. And I'm not looking forward to it. I don't look forward to it at all. I have to go to a meeting at the office, and I hate meetings. You don't like me to go to meetings either, do you? <laughs> oh well. I'm thinking of a career change. More on that later. And this is what I look like after I've been camping for like three days, haven't washed my hair. I still got the same shirt on. Well, actually, this is my camping shirt. This is um, the shirt that I like to wear because it's soft. It's uh, light and um, comfort comfortable. It's comfortable. <laughs> I can't talk. I'm, I just woke up. I haven't even drank coffee yet. You've, you've seen that. It's still draining over there. But anyhow, this is what things look in my home when I'm out gallivanting. And I love it. I'm at peace here. Betty's at peace here. She's back in the back. Uh, let's see if we can find Betty. Oh, look. This is our happy place. You're darn right it is. Oh, did I wake you up? She was back in the back taking a little nappy poo. It's okay. Just wanted to say good morning. Good morning. What? What are you doing? You looking at me like I'm weird or something? All right. Go lay down. Well, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.